Welcome to Joe and Zach Survival. Uh, here's a few of the fish that we caught this weekend. It's opening weekend here in Minnesota for fishing. I uh, got some real nice perch. The water has been real cold, so this, uh, it was a hard bite, but got some perch and some good eating size northerns. Uh, anything bigger than this for northerns would usually throw back, and uh, anything smaller, you, you know, if they get you know, anything smaller than this one right here, we would throw it back. But these are perfect eating size. Uh, we just have to deal with those Y bones. So I'm going to make two videos here. The first one is going to be how to clean a perch, which is real simple. And the second one is going to be when you're cleaning the northern, how you get rid of the Y bones. So I hope you enjoy these and let's get started. Okay, so we've got our perch here. I usually go right behind this uh, fin right here. I go up an angle. I try to get as much of this meat as I can out of there. Back in an angle. Drop down to hit that backbone there. Let's follow this right through. I get it back to about here and then I just shove all the way through and then I just keep pressure down and ride that bone all the way back. And then you can just take your knife and just slide it right around that rib cage, just like that. You get a nice fillet like this, the skin on that side. I usually take my finger and I just push down to hold that skin. It started like this. Keep your fillet knife flat. There we go, one boneless fillet. And we just do the same thing on the other side. Second one, wash them up in a little water, throw them in a Ziploc and freeze them or throw them in the fry pan. Tonight these are going in the fry pan. Now for Mr. Northern. Northerns are a little bit different. They don't really have a distinct backbone. They've got those Y bones in there instead. But And you can watch a lot of videos on this. A lot of people do it a lot of different ways. I do it basically the same exact way. I fillet it out the same way. This way I can get around their rib cage. Some people just cut it straight through and take that rib cage out later. But I'm just familiar with doing like the perch or any kind of fish. So I just kind of try to stay the same way when I do it. And I'm sure you can find people that do a lot cleaner job than I'm doing too. But this is how I do it. Okay, so here we have the basic fillet right here. Now we're going to have to remove those Y bones. 
Okay, I zoomed in on this. I hope you can see it good. Um, with the northern fillet, take and run your knife along there like that. This is the Y bone right here. And this is the top of the fish. Of course, this is the belly side. So our first incision we want to make is just on this side of the Y bone. Just make it real easy. You'll feel your knife hit against the bone, but you don't want to cut through it. So just barely push. It cuts real easy. Okay, once we get it in like that, what we want to do is fillet this. I'm actually going to flip this around. What we want to do is just fillet it up toward the front of the fish, because the Y bone goes like this. And then this part here, this is the Y right here, and then it goes towards the top. So fillet this right against those bones. I tell you, it's May 15th up here, and uh, the wind is up, and it is chilly. I just can't believe it. It's supposed to get down to 28 tonight, and the average high is 69 right now. Okay, so there you can see those Y bones in there. You can hear that. Okay, so we've laid these up. There we go. Then right here, in the center of this, there's a center line that goes right down the fish there. So I just want to cut right along that, just a little bit on the belly side of that, I do. Just like so. And what you're going to do is you're just going to flay under, like this. Now what some people do, and believe me, if I'm in, if I got a lot of these to do or whatever, I, you know, I fillet this out, you can take and cut that, and cut this, and just yank that whole center part, and you get two pieces of fish. Okay, and then just keep filleting it up like so. And like when you get down to the tail, it doesn't have it down here, so you don't got to worry about that. Okay, and once you get it over there, you can just cut this through when you get to the end of the bones. Well, I cut through a little bit there, but that's just the way it's going to be. This whole piece then just pulls out. Okay, so that's all we get. We've got a nice fillet. I mean, I cut through a little bit on that one. Big deal. But nice chunk of meat right there. And this is all that's wasted, and that's all the Y bones. A lot of people don't like to eat Northerns, and I don't know why. I think they taste good. And uh, but I think a big reason is because of those bones. Well, now I got a completely boneless piece of. Uh, fish ready to go in the fry pan. Okay, I'm just going to throw this in as a little, just a little side note here. Um, this is a smaller, the smaller northern of those three. And like I said, if they get any smaller than this, we, you know, throw them back because we want them, want them to grow, get bigger. And if they get any bigger than the other ones, we also throw them back because this lake will support, you can get a good 12 pound northern out of here and they're so fun to catch. But if I get a smaller one like this, or like I said, when I first started trying to get the white ones out, it's just so damn frustrating that sometimes it's easier like I said to take that middle piece out especially with small ones you, there isn't that much meat there so this is what you do you flay it down just like we were doing and just fillet it all the way through just follow those bones down cut it through there we go okay then do the same here as your bottom of your wide bone just going to fillet that underneath. You can see the knife blade right there.
Okay, so then you get it like this, and I mean, it doesn't get so frustrating. So you end up with a, you know, a two chunk of meat like that. What's the big deal? So anyway, that's the other way to do it. Um, so easier with small ones for sure. The bigger they are, the easier it is to pull those Y bones out. So anyway, I hope that's helpful.